everyone, today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me, the formal edition, and this is what I wore to my university ball, and I started off with my makeup, this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light, and I just spread this all over my face, and then blended it in using an Exo Beauty flat top foundation brush, making sure I got it all the way down my neck as well. For concealer, I was just using my favourite one by Collection, and I just dabbed this on with my finger and blended it all out. Then for the under eye area, I just used this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer and blended that in with a little brush. And to make sure that all stays on my face, I used the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, which is my favourite and works really well for me. Then I went in with my bronzer, another favourite, my Natio bronzer, and I just used a really light hand and took this around my cheekbones, down my neck and also up around my temples. And for that extra bit of definition, I went in with the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder. You can't really see it here, but when I move the camera in closer soon, it looks amazing. For blush, I use this Milani Baked Blush in the color Coralina. And I just take it with a very light hand on a big fluffy brush and sort of build the color up slowly because I tend to go way over the top of my blush, so this is how I control myself. <laughs> Moving on to the eyes now, to create my base, I use this Maybelline Color Tattoo and just spread that all over the lid with my finger. This was quite a blue toned eyeshadow though, so to bring some gold back into it, I use this Australis Creamy Eyeshadow, which is the coolest consistency. It's so creamy. So I just put that all over the lid, kind of mixing it in with my finger with the silver that was already on. To tidy it up a bit I just take a matte brown colour through my crease and then use the MAC 217 brush to blend it out and make sure the corners are nice and soft. Next I'm moving on to this beautiful YSL palette and first I'm taking this matte grey shade and just sort of buffing it into the outer V. This just helps build up the smoky effect and balances out some of those sparkly eyeshadows. Then from that same palette I just took the matte black colour and started building that up on the outer corner of my eye. Black eyeshadow can be really pigmented so just work through it really slowly, just build it up a little bit at a time and have your blending brush at the ready. Then it's time for the scary eyeliner! Uh -huh. And I did mess this up and had to take the wing off and start again but that's alright, that's what makeup remover is for. And the way I do this look is I kind of switch between my eyeliner and the black shadow so I slowly build up a wing and then I'll go back in with some black eyeshadow and blend that out into the crease. And because my eyebrows were looking super naked at this point, I decided to go in with my e.l.f. eyebrow kit and do those before finishing off the eyebrow look. And I think you've seen me do my eyebrows before, pretty simple. As well as the e.l.f. eyebrow kit, I also just run through with the L'Oreal Brow Plumper to finish it off and make sure everything stays in place. Then, the falsies. I wasn't sure if I was going to go for these or not, I'm not very good at putting them on, but here we go. I just waited till the glue got a little bit tacky and then just used my tweezers and just kind of shoved them on there to be honest. I don't really know what I'm doing, but there you go. Should have probably mentioned at the start, I am definitely not a makeup artist, but I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, I ended up going with a nude lip, this is my favourite Jordana liner, and for my hair I was actually running out of time. But I have had curly hair and had a fancy outdo in my previous balls, so I just decided to keep it nice and simple for this time round, and I really like how it looked. For my perfume of the night, I went for My New York by DKNY, and then for jewellery, I had these rings, which I think are from Forever New. Also, please ignore the eyeliner on my hand. I did remember to wash that off before I left. <laughs> and then moving on for more jewellery, because what is life without bling? I have this bracelet, it's like an authentic vintage one which I love, and my beautiful pearl earrings, and for shoes, these beautiful things. I bought these online from the Iconic, I think they were only about $40 and I loved the colour and I think they worked really nicely with my dress and flat shoes for the win to be honest. <laughs> and now for the dress, this is actually a beautiful dress that my mum made me for my year 12 haul and I loved it so much I was like hey I'm gonna wear it again. And so yeah that's the finished look, I loved how it turned out, my favourite part of the whole evening is getting ready with all your friends so I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Oh my god! That's how you turn You're it down. such a ballzilla. <laughs> Alan. Where's the button? <laughs> It's recording. Oh. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. What? Where is the photo button? No, honestly, where is it? Is it? Oh, no. No, it's there.
But oh! No, they're still too oh. low in the frame. You're just too low in the frame. Look at them, but now look dumb. You guys look dumb. Hang on. Be more bally. Be more ball. Look lovingly into each other's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. I'm in your shop. Thank you. This is Eliza's butt. This is Aaron's butt. Ow. No, I need a sexy chip food eating experience. <laughs> oh, eat the Cheerio. I can slow-mo it with some like music. Huh? <laughs>